and she's so beautiful. Hello everyone. My name is Stephanie. I'm the director of Wild Care. Thank you for joining me today. You were just looking at a snapping turtle who is named Julia. And I think our interns had named her this. It's a turtle who was found in Orleans on Pochett Road and she was hit by a car. She had um, a fractured shell and also was gravid with eggs. Uh, this was earlier in the season. She's a beauty. We're all in love with her. And so we're gonna watch her be being fed today by Chelsea. Let me turn the camera back around. So this is the snapping turtle. She's so beautiful. And she has um, aluminum tape, aluminum tape on her shell uh, to repair it and beeswax. And she's healing really well. As you can see, when we do shell repairs, we have to think about a lot of things, including um, there can't be any seepage. Water can't get into the shell. We also can't have air trapped in the shell when you seal the wound because you want um, the turtle to be able to sink. They don't want to be super buoyant because as you know, a lot of snapping turtles, they sort of lurk at the bottom of uh, ponds and so this is this beautiful aquarium she's in and Chelsea's going to feed her and we try not to name our patients because we don't want to get attached but this is Julia and we feel like her name suits her perfectly she's an absolute beauty all right here we go <laughs> this is Chelsea Peck she's one of our wildlife rehabilitators and she's gonna feed Julia today and Chelsea before you do this um, what are you feeding her Smelt? Yes. And some mice. And some mice. And for those of you watching, these mice are, um, they come frozen. They're from labs. They are not our patients. We also rehab mice and we love them. And the mice that we rehabilitate are native and get released. We do not feed my, our mice to our patients. <laughs> Just need to make that clear. Um, okay. Yay, Chelsea. This is so exciting. Julia is so animated. Oh my goodness, she did it like faster than I could even get over. What a gorgeous turtle. I love that she has algae on her shell. She's so camouflaged. Imagine this turtle on a pond bottom. And snapping turtles, uh, they are native, a native species. There goes another smelt. There we go, Julia. Oh my goodness. She's incredible, a dinosaur. Chelsea, the water's so clear. You can see every bit of her. Now there's a face that only a mother could love. We love snapping turtles. Look at the massive claws. Um, these guys are diggers and climbers. We know Julia is a female because she had come to us gravid with eggs and we allowed her to lay some of her eggs here. Are her eggs in the incubator or did we bury them? Um, so she laid her eggs and we put them in, we have them in an incubator here. So here we go. So big claws made for digging. Um, the females will typically, uh, they use their back legs to dig out a, um, a burrow to lay their eggs and then cover it back up. But these guys also can climb and make their way through mud and vegetation. And they're incredibly adept at swimming. And as you can see, can stay underwater for long periods of time without breathing. It's pretty incredible. She's even got algae on her head. And snapping turtles can live 100 years. We don't know how old she is, but um, certainly older than old, over 25 years old. And we hope she lives forever. What a beauty. <laughs> is she looking for more food? 
Oh yeah. Here we go. Incredible. And so depending, she is healing well, but we may need to keep her uh, for the winter. The state allows us to keep turtles up to one year for rehabilitation um, because their metabolism is slower and takes them longer to heal. We do hope she can be released this fall uh, before the cold weather gets here and turtles start to hibernate, but we shall see. I'm going to also post a video of her that I took a few weeks ago eating a fish. I'll post that on Facebook shortly. Wow, she's stunning. Um, and Chelsea, I have one more question. How often does she get fed? Every other day. Every other day. She has an incredible appetite. Let's see if we can get a look from up here. Wow, just wow. So one last thing that I want to share is if you see a snapping turtle crossing the road, this is one species that if they bite you, they can potentially uh, cause some damage. So if you see a snapping turtle crossing the road and it's safe for you to do so, you can move them to the side in which they were headed. Um, what I usually recommend is if you tip up the back of their shell and then take one of your car floor mats and slide it under the back half of their body, you then can drag them on the car mat to the other side. Um, or I like to carry a snow shovel in my car uh, throughout the summer months and um, you can scoop up a snapping turtle again from behind in the shovel and carry them to the other side of the road. We don't recommend putting a log in their mouth and then dragging them because of course you can cause some damage to the neck or their biting uh, jaw. Uh, so the best thing to do is tip them up in the back and um, if you do that, just be careful that they don't reach back with their neck to try to bite you. So just be mindful of that. But it is important, um, you know, to get them safely to the other side of the road when you can. Anyway, we love Julia and stay tuned for her progress. Thanks, everyone.